Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. Right now, something very pertinent is happening with the MK party as Jabulani Kumalo is alleged to attend first parliament sitting despite his expulsion. Guys, I'm here to give you all the entire details about what is actually going on and uh, all of this should definitely come as a shocker to Zuma, right? Before I give you the information proper, kindly do well to follow Jam Vibes, please. Like this video, drop a comment and above all, share this video with all of your friends and loved ones too, please. Point to be noted is the fact that every single information reviewed in today's video is got to with respect to what was shared on the official platforms of MDN News. So in case you need any further updates or any further, you know, knowledge about what is definitely about to be spewed, kindly do well to visit the official platforms. Before that, Jabulani Kumalo's decision to attend the inaugural session of parliament, even after being expelled from the Mkonto Wesizwe party, has ignited considerable interest and debate within political circles. Kumalo's announcement of his attendance brings to the forefront critical issues regarding the nuances of parliamentary representation, the dynamics of party politics and the independence of elected officials. Kumalo's presence on the list of the National Assembly representatives, despite his expulsion, highlights a potential conflict between party discipline and parliamentary procedure. This scenario emphasizes the complexities in the relationship between individual members, their political parties, and the overall parliamentary framework. Kubalo's choice to participate in the session demonstrates his determination to fulfill his mandate as an elected official, independent of his party's punitive actions. This move prompts speculation about his future actions in parliament. Will he actually uphold the principles of the Umkonto Wesizwe party, act autonomously, or form new alliances with other political entities? Political analysts and observers are closely watching to see how Kumalo's involvement will impact legislative debates, voting behaviors, and overall functioning of parliament. His actions have the potential to establish new predecedents for how expelled or dissenting members navigate their roles within parliamentary system, not only in South Africa, but also in other democracies. Additionally, Kumalo's stance brings to light broader discussions about the balance of power between political parties and elected representatives. It raises pertinent questions about the accountability of parliamentarians to their voters as opposed to their party leadership. The implications of Kumalo's attendance are far-reaching. On one hand, it challenges the authority of political parties over their members, suggesting that elected officials have a duty to their constituents that may override party directives. On the other hand, it raises concerns about the potential for legislative chaos if expelled members continue to participate against their party's wishes. Kumalo's situation is a significant case study in the ongoing debate over the independence of elected officials versus party loyalty. It underscores the need for clear guidelines and perhaps reforms in how such conflicts are managed within the parliamentary system. In conclusion, Jabulani Kumalo's decision to attend the first sitting of parliament despite his expulsion from the Umkonto Wesizwe party not only stirs immediate political interest but also invites a deeper examination of the principles governing parliamentary representation, the role of political parties, and the autonomy of elected officials. This incident may well influence future legislative practices and the interpretation of political loyalty and representation in South Africa and beyond. Right now, without necessarily judging, I want each and every one of you to rush onto the comment section, leaving in your honest opinions about what you think and how you feel based on everything being reviewed in today's video. I love you all from the bottom of my heart and I'll make sure to reply to each and every one of your comments.